Hello everyone, this is Riyad from VG Kami, and today we are going to get S rank on the Attack the Watchpoint mission in Chapter 1 of Armored Core 6. We'll get into my loadout in just a little bit. However, let us hop into the video. Alright, so in terms of assembly, uh, your weapons matter more than your frame and your internal parts. So to go over it quickly, I've got in my right hand, the, the GU-A2 pulse gun to get rid of Baltius' pulse shield. I've got a Moonlight Blade in my left hand for uh, big damage without using ammo. And on my shoulders, I've, or rather my back units, I've got two stun needles. So you want to save your stun needles for when you take out Sula and Baltius, because their ammo is... Fairly expensive. In the beginning of the mission, I focus on taking out these uh, large energy cannons first because they are the most annoying due to them having the best accuracy of all the enemies nearby and also doing the most damage. You have a little bit of leeway in terms of how much AP you can lose. However, not a whole lot. We'll go into the exact amount at the end mission screen. But for now, let's continue clearing up this first area. And you have to get rid of all of these enemies. Otherwise, Walter won't let you proceed. I stick to using the Moonlight Blade as much as possible to reduce ammo costs, but I do use the Pulse Gun I have equipped to my right hand as well. Because its ammo cost is fairly low. And it doesn't take much many rounds to destroy these minor empty enemies. So after you clear out the first area, proceed to the next one as usual. And once more you want to prioritize the big energy cannons. I do take out that empty along the way because they were just right there and fairly easy to hit. However, doing so results in me getting hit by this energy cannon. Which is not great, but again, this mission is a fair bit lenient with uh, how much damage you can take. More so than later uh, missions anyway. Afterward, you want to just take out the stragglers that you didn't destroy along the way. I've taken about 50% um, damage in terms of AP. So, as I proceed into the Sula mini boss fight, I use a repair kit to heal once, or rather to repair once, and then I enter uh, the Sula fight. I'm having a bit of issues with my boosting there, but alas, we proceed. You see that? That's the watch points control center. The target's inside. Make your way in. Alright, so the Sula fight shouldn't be too tough. Especially after, if you come back to this mission after fighting uh, more difficult enemies in later chapters. However, you want to get right up in this base and use your moonlight blade, stun guns, and pulse gun interchangeably. The stun guns are great for, as you would expect, staggering Sula, however, you can dodge, so try to offset your stun guns, like try not to use both at the same time unless you have a guaranteed shot. They're particularly effective if Sula is staggered, so if you manage to stagger him with one shot from the stun needle and then use the other one, immediately afterwards, you'll take him out in no time. Next, we gotta head down into the center of the watch point and take out an objective at the bottom of it before we fight Baltius. It's not super necessary to resupply, but do so anyways, because why not? As I drop down, I use the Moonlight Blade to take out the target to save on a little bit of ammo. 
Thankfully the Moonlight Blade doesn't have a long cooldown, so waiting for it to recharge won't cost you that much time. Alright, next up is the tough part, the Baltius fight. I've seen people take Baltius out with really good loadouts in like 13 seconds. I don't do quite as well. However, the uh, method that I outlined was still effective enough to get me S rank. However, with that said, you want to keep getting as close to Baltius as possible. Try to stay underneath them if you can, and use the pulse gun to get rid of their pulse shield. And once they that happens, they will get staggered, and then you can unload on them with your stun needles and your moonlight blade, if you choose to use the same loadout as I do. If you do use decide, if you do decide to use the moonlight blade. You want to always go for the double attack, the combo, which is when you um, use whatever or other. It's always in the left hand, so you have to use your left uh, trigger or L2 button twice in order to use the combo. Just tap it twice and that will let you do a double hit with your Moonlight Blade. Your stun needles, for the most part, you want to only use when Baltis is stationary. Don't use them while Baltis is moving, because that will cause them to miss fairly often. So I could have taken out Baltius there if I was a bit more um, wise with my ammo usage. However, I was a little bit hasty. With that said, it doesn't take me much longer to uh, drop their shield and take them out again. Yeah, at point blank range it's pretty hard to miss with the stun needles, so if Baltius is right in front of you, feel free to unload with your stun needles on them. stand on Baltis' corpse just for good measure. Anyways, let's take a look at the end mission screen. So if you use roughly under 40,000 for repair costs, about 35,000-ish or less for your ammo costs, and complete this mission in approximately 7 minutes or less, you should get S rank on this. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing. Until the next video, happy hunting, fellow mercs.